greetings of peace youtubers okay first we need a headphone a listening device close back recommended so that for recording the sound doesn't escape and then we need a, an audio interface where the audio analog signal from the microphone is con converted into digital signal okay so line out for the listening device headphones for the headphones how loud and how soft this is the gain where how much is being reco uh, recorded by the microphone if it's a loud instrument then you want to lower the gain if it's a soft instrument you need you would need to increase the gain then the phantom power 48 volt for condenser microphone which is suitable for human vocal range Headphones out, line in, instrument cable, mic XLR cable in, then here's the MIDI for the instrument electronic devices, line out, digital out, USB connected to a laptop computer. And you need the pop filter to reduce frequent frequencies, sibilances and human speed hisses in human speech, XLR cable, and the microphone stand. Okay, so this is the music software, the digital audio workstation, DAW, Apple's Logic. Okay, first we have all these audio tracks for audio files recording recorded through by the microphone. Then you have the MIDI here, which is the samples that is in the software, or you can create your own sound sample. And yeah, here track, this is where you add the track. Do you have an audio or software? Mono or stereo? Mono means just a single sound coming out, being recorded and played. Stereo means two different sounds left and right being played okay input is your microphone input in the first or the second okay output is into the master out okay so for this box one here you are this is the inserts the effects amps and pedals Delay is like a echo, like t -t 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 -t. then distortion. It just are uh, nasty harmonics being emphasized. Dynamics, how loud and how the the range between the softest and the loudest, is it big or small? This uh, increase or decreases it. Noise gate means any level below a certain level will be cut off okay eq certain specific frequencies are being increased or decreased when metering bits per minute tells you the tempo of the song level meter tells you how loud it is tuner tells you what pitch you are in exactly modulation enhances and emphasizes certain pleasant harmonic frequencies then the tremolo is like a helicopter sound tuk, 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 tuk. Okay, pitch is the changing the pitch is it higher pitch or lower pitch yeah. reverb is like the room acoustics and echo in the room yeah. And next will be sends to the bus and another channel where you can do add effects to it and modify edit it. Okay, inputs are stereo out. Here is the pan. Whether it the signal that the sound is played is it more to the left side or more to the right side or more in the center. Okay, next is the fader level. How loud do you want the instrument to be playing? Um, okay, next is the input. Input button tells you if there's anything going, how loud is anything bad 
anything sent into the input signal. Okay, record ready means whatever if you press the record button then this whichever is being armed with the record button will start recording. Okay, mute means whatever track is being muted that is it will be silent. Then solo means whatever track that is soloed will be playing only. Okay. Here's the mixer board. All these instruments being played and it will be sent into the last chain. The output, the master output, where you can also add some effects and orders. Okay, then here is the play button, pause, record, stop. Okay, and here's the tempo button, how fast or slow you want the song to be. Here's the loop button, it's a cycle, a repeated cycle. So it plays over and over again. Click track tells you when is the beat of the song landing on. Okay. okay, so next we'll do a demo. Yeah. So for this MIDI track, you open up the piano roll and then you input some notes in. Okay, so it was there, the notes are in, and then you'll play it. Then here we'll do a recording of a uh, percussive. Okay, let's record. Okay, then now that it's recorded, we'll change the settings so that it will come out of the Okay, now we'll try. Okay, so now you can edit it. You can split it apart and edit, drag it, change it. Yep, that's it. And then you can bounce it out and make it export it out. Okay. So zoom in and zoom out and make the tracks, the audio files more more visible. Yep.